Welcome to another episode of the Corporate Cowboys Podcast. My name is Alex. I am your host, as always, until I get promoted or demoted or fucking terminated. You know what the deal is. Today, proof of life, it's April 4th, 2022. Today's a Monday of all days. Today, today is the day, right? Effectively, what we want to have happen is, uh, you know, to go out and and kill this week. But um, there's a a lot of shit popping off in the news. I know from a hometown of mine, Sacramento, California, motherfuckers got popped. Some 10, 10, 15 cats got hit. I think six died or something like that. That's fucking sad, man. That's fucking sad. Personally, I think uh, that's a tragedy, but, uh, you know, it, it is what it is that such is life. My thoughts and my players, thoughts, <laughs> thoughts and prayers for my thoughts and players, but that's life, man. You got to look at things from a positive perspective. You have to continue living. I mean, if you dwell on fuckery you will be lost. You will be caught up and entangled in the fuckery. You don't want that. No, no, you don't want that. It's the last thing you want. So uh, I think as a professional, the, the, the best thing, the healthiest thing we could do is to put some mental space between that and yourself and... Um, Embrace, uh, embrace life, man. Em- embrace the rest of life. Don't, don't get caught up in the, in the drama. Don't believe the hype. I think the best way is to just push through. And um, that mindset might just come from experience. Call it, uh, what, trauma? Call it PTSD. Call it uh, uh, getting over fears from, by exposure. And you might be right. You might be right, um, but uh, myself and my associates have more often found ourselves on the sending end than on the receiving end, so, you know, take that for what it's worth, but you've got to come to terms with the fact that that's life. If you're, if you're out there on the street, if <laughs> as soon as you cross your driveway, as soon as you cross the fucking threshold of your fucking house... And not even the inside of your house is is secure, right? There's no such thing as absolute security, right? There's just, there's liberty, there's freedom, and then there's the appearance of security. And to give up liberty and and freedom for the appearance of security, y'all already know that looks can be deceiving. Appearances can be disappointing. Not even the, not even your living room is safe from getting aired out like the way Sacramento was. And shit's life. As soon as you cross out there, the, as soon as you cross the threshold of your house and you're out there on the fucking sidewalk in public, you're playing by street rules, baby. Unless you have that much faith, unless you have that much faith in the social institution and, and public systems of where you live, you better, be, you better believe and you better expect that type of treatment out there. So if you aren't prepared, if you aren't almost expecting it, you're going to get caught lacking, fam. You will be caught lacking. And that may or may not be a healthy mindset to live with, right? That may be uh, uh, additional undue stress, but there is a baseline that you can live at where you're prepared, but you're not always on edge. You're not always on on tilt, you know, like just betting the shit's gonna pop off every everywhere you, you go, right? Nah, nah. I mean there's a there's a healthy approach to it. And me personally, uh, what I saw or, or what I've seen, what I've seen in life is uh, has informed my view of that when you step out the house and again I'm analogizing this to corporate when you step out the house and you're out here among us 
And you're out here among people, socializing, living, living your, uh, your, your public life. You better believe the shit could pop off any second, right? Obviously, you don't want to live as if it will. You, you don't want to carry yourself in the, in the way that like a fucking uh, a mall ninja tactical motherfucker would. Because that's just unhealthy. That's antisocial. And corporate cowboys want to be social, want to be fluid, want to operate with a with the kind of lubricity that's enviable, that's 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 covetable. That's a corporate cowboy for you. When you can move in and out of circles with the kind of dynamic that makes motherfuckers want to associate with you, you have to let this shit roll off of your back like like water off of uh, like water off of feathers man like water off a duck's back and I'm not saying that you shouldn't care about people getting gunned down for no reason because obviously that affects business and business is always personal so that should be affecting you personally but not to the level where like you have to expend undue energy consoling people that weren't there consoling people who feel some kind of way because what they got triggered they, they were nowhere near the vicinity and and what maybe maybe they heard the shots and uh that caused them to go into having some kind of episode i don't know man i think that's pushing the bounds that's pushing the bounds on uh on on the on returns of investment. I feel like that is pushing the bounds on diminishing returns because there comes a point where people just have to nut up, strap, I'm not going to say strap up, but but pick themselves up by their fucking, by the strings of their own soul, right? By their own cords, by their own accord. They got to pick themselves up and come to terms with what life looks like. If it should be uncivilized, and what happened in Sacramento was an uncivilized act, really pulling guns out and flaming motherfuckers should be the last resort. I've said that time and time again, should be the last resort. But hey, mental illness exists, motherfucking psychological operations exist, what have you, right? What have you? It could be some kind of fucking twisted campaign in order for the local, just the local government there to uh, make some moves, right? Never let a tragedy go unused type ass bullshit. Because, I mean, <laughs> we saw what happened in, in Vegas, Mandalay Bay. When you're working with agencies at a federal level, niggas got budgets, niggas got resources, so they could mow down 100 and plus people. But, hey, local governments smaller budgets what can i get <laughs> what can i get for pocket change man you got to be cognizant of the fact that that life is a game until you start taking it serious life is a game and still you start and still you start until you start playing it for reals life is a game and if you don't know the rules easily you're getting played man you got you have you have to recognize you must recognize you are either a player or you are getting played the simple is that simple and you may say damn alex you fucking cold you you're fucking callous you don't give a fuck about these people who got hurt who got gunned down and and their and their families they you know their lost loved ones or whatever I'm not going to chalk that shit up to collateral damage, though I could easily justify it as it being collateral damage to living in a civilized society. The, <laughs> this is the price we pay for a society, to live in a society. Bro, that's the price you pay to live in a fucking society. Tell me how 20 motherfuckers get gunned down every single weekend in, in places like Chicago, Illinois, and that shit doesn't make the news. Oh, because it's not a pandemic of that, of that street life. Man, fucking... Sometimes priorities be fucked up. I'll give it to you like that. Sometimes 
social priorities be fucked up. And I think a large part has a large part of that has to do with the fact that media doesn't hype it up so that people can consume it and regurgitate it like baby birds. It's it's wild. It's wild to think that everything the media cooks up and serves for people to consume uh, becomes like the the main narrative that people understand that that people's life revolves around. Where if you ain't watching the news, what you're uninformed all of a sudden? Nah, man. Nah, there's there's better news to be uh, to be speculating on, and I'm not even gonna say consume because you could you could uh, uh, ponder some some news. You, you could you could masticate. You could mull over some fucking uh, newsletters. It can, they could be business oriented. They could be politically oriented. And all you're doing really is speculating on what the future looks like, giving given current news. Given um, current events, you're necessarily speculating on what the future looks like, and that's not a bad thing. That really isn't a bad thing. At, at the end of the day, what I don't want to have happen is is uh, excessive energy, too much energy. It's just a it's just the overboard of pouring out of energy. People sending out condolences thoughts and prayers and, and, and want to enact stricter, quote unquote, stri- stricter, quote unquote, common sense gun laws that really aren't based in common sense of any kind. Again, look at Chicago. Those motherfuckers out there can't, can't even own guns out there and, and still they're getting mowed down like it's fucking, uh, like it's a fucking, like it's World War Three every day. You, you want to talk about Ukraine and, and Russian affairs? Look at Chicago. That shit looks like they're putting in numbers weekly. Weekly they're putting in numbers. Making Russia and Ukraine, putting Russia and Ukraine to shame, really. But uh, that's neither here nor there, man. So, yeah, once again, just some thoughts and prayers for my thoughts and players and, uh, just just wanted to air that out really maybe it's me griping maybe it's me whining and complaining about how people perceive current events but uh ultimately it comes back to uh exposure it's just the lack of exposure where people necessarily um fail to understand that life there's a life beyond the screen on your phone uh, there's a life beyond this handheld digital device that supposedly, quote unquote, connects you with the entire world. Nah, there's there's fools out there putting in work, and it may or not it may or may not even be gang related. It may just be politically motivated. It may be government motivated. Who the fuck knows, man? Who the fuck knows? I mean, I'm not saying to detach yourself and compartmentalize the emotion. But I'm necessarily insisting on folks recognizing where that emotion comes from and how it comes to be when ultimately you don't know anybody that got sparked on 10th and K. Yeah, that uh, supposedly that's like the pop in downtown of where like all the action happens of like where all the uh, attractions are. So, yeah, I get I get how because it's the biggest point in Sacramento, motherfuckers are supposed to feel some type of way when, you know, when, when there's action out there. But at the same time, if you ain't a part of it, bro, it's, it's just the way of life. It's a way of life. I'm not going to say write it off as Sacramento yeah. being Chicago, but if that's the way it's headed, bro, if that's the way it's headed, I'm going to, again, insist that you come to terms with the fact that if you aren't caring, if you aren't packing, you might as well get caught lacking, man. You might as well get caught lacking. Same goes for when you're operating in corporate. It, it could be a, a, a easy, easy run of the mill corporate uh, conference in a in, in a in a boardroom setting, and before you know it, motherfuckers are making moves. 
motherfuckers are making moves. And, and it might not be with with hammers, right? It, it, it might not be with, you know, flashing motherfuckers with the steel or whatever. It could be your job on the line. It could be your career on the line, right? And until you experience it, until you experience it, you won't know what individuals who are on the receiving end go through. I mean, unless you have experience on the sending end. <laughs> all right. Hey, you want to visit us on Instagram? By all means, do that. It's Corporate Cowboys. You've seen us. There's a Patreon that's active. It's the Corporate Cowboys podcast. By all means, shoot us a couple of dollars. Keep the operation nonprofit. It'll go towards business expenses, legal fees. Have a great week.